Hello everybody, Frankly FM84 here. Thank you for joining me on the FM Connection. Today we are going to be launching a brand new series here on the channel. It's called Wonder Kid or Bust. As you might be able to guess, we are going to be looking at some Wonder Kids and we are going to advance some years into the future of their career and work out if they are a Wonder Kid or they become a bust. So with that being said, let's jump into the game and show you the first of our Wonder Kid or Bust series. Hello everybody, Frankly FM84 here and again a big thank you for joining us here on the FM Connection. So you might have heard me say in the little introduction there that we are going to be launching a brand new series on the channel today. It's going to be called Wonder Kid or Bust. We're going to take some players that we think could be Wonder Kids or are already a media description of a Wonder Kid. Either move them to a high profile team or use the high profile team that they are currently playing for. We're going to sim forwards in their careers and see if they turn into a Wonder Kid or if they become a bust. Before we reveal the first player though in the Wonder Kid or Bust series, we at the channel have a small little favour to ask of you. If you could just hit that like button and hit the subscribe button with the notification bell, we at the FM Connection would appreciate that very, very much. Every little interaction that you have with the channel helps us to grow, helps us to get to a bigger audience, helps us keep creating the quality content that you want to see here on the channel. What's that I hear you say? You've already done those things? Fantastic. Let's jump in and show you the first player on the Wonder Kid or Bust list. The eagle-eyed of you amongst us might have spotted that we are on the Liverpool homepage. And yes, that means that the first player in the series does indeed play for Liverpool. So let's reveal who he is. Of course, he is Mateusz Musialowski. He's Liverpool's bright young prospect who starts the game off at 17 years old. He's Polish, so he has settled status in England, which means he's able to play for Liverpool. He starts off with an agreed playing time of a youngster. You can see he has some pretty good positives. So he's a natural in several positions. He could improve a lot in the future. He displays a fairly determined attitude. He possesses a fair amount of pace. Ability to dribble makes him a difficult opponent to come up against. Performed okay in training lately. Considered a technical player. He seems to fit in fairly well with most of the squad. And under 21 players are automatically eligible to play in all matches, which is quite obvious. Um, in terms of his cons, has improvements to make in his physical strength. You can see that he starts the game off here with a three. And he is only five foot four, so he isn't going to be going up for headers against Virgil van Dijk anytime soon. His lack of strength and fitness means he should be in the gym working on his overall athleticism. He also currently operating at a national league level. So you can see that when we look at his stats, in terms of the technicals, the standouts are dribbling, finishing, first touch and technique. In terms of the mentals, aggression, determination, flair, all stand out there. And in terms of his physicals, he has good acceleration and pace and good agility too. So he is reasonable with his left foot, very strong on his right foot. He can play in a number of positions. You can see he is highlighted as being an attacking midfielder left as a natural, attacking midfielder right as a natural, and also an attacking midfielder through the centre as a natural. But where we are going to try and hone his craft is here as a striker. We're going to plug him into a tactic with Liverpool, see how he develops when he's played alongside the likes of Mo Salah, Sadio Mane, and receiving passes from Jordan Henderson, Thiago, Fabinho, those kinds of players. So you can see down here for role and duty, he is currently a one-star advanced forward, one-star poacher, and then he has some potential for some of the other roles. He has three-star potential for pressing forward, three-star Potential for deep line forward, a two and a half star target forward, false nine is two, Trey Cortista is two, and a complete forward is a one and a half star. When we stack him up against some of the other players in the Liverpool squad, you can see that he is currently a one star, which is a low rating for the senior team, but he has a two and a half star full potential, 
which goes up to three and a half stars. Puts him around on par with Harvey Elliott, just a little bit behind him in terms of his overall potential. Harvey Elliott's potential is superb rating and his is a fairly good rating for the senior team and a very good rating for the senior team. So he has a contract till 2024 at the beginning of the game. So we have no problems with him in terms of plugging him in. He's going to be able to just stay at Liverpool, as we said, with that settled uh, nationality there. What we're going to do then is plug him in to a tactic we are going to set Liverpool up with this 4-3-3. We are going to change it from cautious. We are going to put it to positive. You don't want to try and overload. Liverpool's defence is one that plays a high line. So hopefully we can get him some game times in and around. The one thing that I will say is in this series, we are going to do something that is pretty much unrealistic. As you can see, Musialowski is only 17 years old. What we are going to do is basically jam him into the lineup. We're going to force him to play there across five seasons. and We are not going to unlock him from the team, which means that you will see him play as many Premier League, Champions League, uh, international games if he gets there. And that will all be as a false nine in Liverpool's first team. So that kind of explains everything you have seen the player and how he starts the game. The date you can see is the 5th of July 2021. So the next thing to do is jump five years into the future and work out whether he's going to become a wonder kid or a bust. Here we go then. We have jumped forward. The date is now the 15th of June 2026. You can see the development in Matthias Musielowski. He is a 22-year-old who has now been capped by the Polish national team. He has 13 caps and one goal. You can see that those three cons are still there, but there are some very big changes. He has now got an agreed playing time as an important player. His contract is to 2030, so Liverpool have given him a new four-year deal at this point. And when we start to look around the player page, you can see he has got quite a few more pros. So acceleration underpins his overall speed. He's a natural in several positions still. Good player for most Premier League sides now. He possesses a great deal of pace. He's homegrown in nation. He has international experience. Displays a fairly determined attitude. Could improve significantly in the future. Fits in well with the majority of the squad. Homegrown in nation for continental competitions. Homegrown at club continental competitions. He is considered a technical player still. And he has English now as his second nationality. You can see those three cons. He doesn't feel comfortable playing in big matches. He doesn't have the greatest jump and reach. And he's fairly poor in the air. As I said, he was five foot four when we started the game. He's now only five foot five. Luckily, his strength has developed there. We are going to change this to his striker position and you can see he has developed to two and a half stars for the false nine we're only going to highlight that position because that is where we have forced him to play for liverpool so the things to start off looking at if we start off over here his personality is fairly determined his media description is a striker his media handling style is level-headed he has no player traits, which is interesting considering he has been in Liverpool's first team. His value is 37 to 46 million pounds. So he is a player that Liverpool will be able to move on for a great profit if they wish to do so. You can see that when we started, he was bottom of the list in terms of player comparisons. We've got Mo Salah at the top here, who is now at four stars in both uh, potential and current ability. And that is at 2026 and Musialowski is now a two and a half star and three star in terms of potential for his abilities going back across to see his attributes in terms of the technicals now he has dribbling of 17 finishing of 15 first touch of 16 has heading of 11 passing of 12 technique of 15 so those technicals have really started to come through his mentors have also developed quite a lot aggression 14 Anticipation 15, Decisions 14, Determination 16, he has Vision of 15, Teamwork, Off the Ball, they're all there to go with it. And in terms of his physicals, look at that acceleration, Lightning at 18, Agility of 17 means he's going to be weaving in and out through players, Balance of 11, Pace of 15. And okay, 
stamina and strength are still his weak points. But I think in terms of his development, he has really come on leaps and bounds as a player. If we have a little look at his career stats, certainly throughout the Premier League, you can see the first season, 38 games, 14 goals and a 6.93 average rating. 38 games, 9 goals and a 6.88 average rating. 37 games, 15 goals, 4 assists, 6.94 average rating. 37 games, 6 goals, 2 assists and 6.79 average rating. And then in 25-26, he had 36 games, 10 goals, 3 assists, 1 player of the match and a 6.97 average rating. So overall, 186 games played, 54 goals, 20 assists, 4 player of the matches and 6.90 average rating. So you can see that he really fits into Liverpool's way of playing. In terms of scoring the amount of goals that I thought he might be able to with the finishing that he possesses, it's not the world's greatest striker but I think in terms of playing that false number nine position he's perfectly sound there when we go into his development and look at his progress you can see ability wise he has peaked a little bit here at two and a half and then come down a little bit where he dropped to two and then built back up along into June 2026 where he's back to a two and a half star potential ability as we said is still three when we look at his attributes in the summary for his technicals, he has major overall improvement in technical abilities, major overall improvement in mental abilities, and a major overall improvement in physicals. If you want to have a little look at those and slow it down or pause it to see exactly what ratings he has, feel free to do that. When we look at the attributes and the growth across all time, you can see here this graph shows that there are some big jumps in terms of things like acceleration and then off the ball pace, vision. They all work in the graph and everything is pretty much going up. There is one or two, though, that do kind of tail off. Long shots has gone down to seven, crossing to nine. So maybe he's not the player who he's going to be. Even though he's a natural playing attacking midfielder, left or right, he's not a natural winger. He's not going to be whipping crosses into the box. The last thing to show you then before we start to wrap the video up is Matthias Musialowski's personal career milestones. You can see when he starts off at Liverpool, he started off in 2021. So Liverpool were Premier League champions in the first season. He got a medal. He was named in the Liverpool seasonal best 11. He was FA Community Shield supported by McDonald's winners. That's a mouthful, isn't it? He was the 2023 Next Gen runner-up. Let's have a little look at who he finished runner-up to. Jude Bellingham. So... Obviously, that's high praise there in terms of next-gen rating. Um, where did that go? They were Premier League champions in 2023, named in Liverpool seasonal best. First international cap against Montenegro, aged 19. Then Liverpool were Premier League champions again. He was a Champions League winner in 2024, named in that seasonal best 11 again. Community Shield winners, UEFA Super Cup winners. They also won the Carabao Cup. He was Premier League champion again, Champions League winner again, <laughs> named in Liverpool seasonal best 11 again, first international goal against Israel age 21 in 2025, and then in the final season, Premier League champion again, and named in Liverpool seasonal best. So that's every season seasonal best for Liverpool. Let's click on awards and just condense that a little bit. So yeah, also named in team of the week, he was... Young Player of the Month for January, named in the Team of the Week, Seasonal Best 11. So a lot of awards here. That 2023 Next Gen runner-up is probably the highlight in terms of his own personal awards. But you can see that the player definitely has a great amount of potential. And he's one that I think you can get and develop into whatever you want him to be. So... Matthias Musialowski, he develops into quite the player for Liverpool. I think also when you remember, he starts off at 17. He's now only 22 years old. I think that we can call Matthias Musialowski a wonder kid in the making. If you were to purchase him, I don't think he moves away from Liverpool at the start of the game, which is the reason why we left him there, put him into the first team. But I think if you can pinch him further on down the line, you can develop him, use some of the mentoring, some of the training techniques that you might be able to find here on the channel or some of your own techniques. You can see what you can do with the player. Let us know in the comment section down below. Did you sign him? 
what would you give him as a rating out of 10? And also, what can you get from him with any training techniques that you might have of your own? For this one, though, we're going to wrap it there. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, please do hit that like, subscribe and the notification bell. You want to stay up to date with everything that is going to be coming up on the channel. We have some great quality content coming your way at the home of content creators. Also, don't forget to come and join me on the next episode of Wonder Kid or Bust as we look to unearth those hidden gems from within the game right here on the FM Connection.